How would you like to know the secret to doing everything twice as fast for the rest of your professional career? Well, before I tell you this secret, I will make you watch a long video full of intros and segue. It's touch typing. <sighs> On man, what about the YouTube algorithm? It's touch typing, just get to the point. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Mike. I'm a GP in Manchester, UK, and I'm also a university tutor at one of the medical schools nearby. And in this short video, I wanna share with you my short experience of learning how to touch type and how I doubled my typing speed. And all of this in less than six hours. Finally, if you stick around to the end, we're gonna reveal the winners of the 100 subscription contest that we had earlier on. And I'll be giving out five free copies of the medical audiobook GP on the Move. So let's get started. My mentor, when I worked in Oz as a GP was a young doctor called Steph. I sat in with her to learn the Australian clinical system, which was called ZMED, and pick up some tips on how to work there. Now, the first thing I noticed about Steph was that she typed really fast. It's touch typing. Do you guys not have touch typing in the UK? Do we? I don't know. She then told me that in school, they have mandatory touch typing classes for kids in Australia. And that's why she typed so fast. So what is touch typing? Touch typing is the opposite of picking and pecking. So rather than using two or three of your favorite fingers to pick and peck the keys you want, you use all of them. Your fingers rest in the middle position. Now I didn't realize this before learning how to touch type, but there are actually little grooves under the F and the J keys. Go ahead, your keyboard is going to have those little grooves as well. So just have a feel. That's where your two index fingers rest and when you type the others just fan out to the keys that you want Now the second big difference about touch typing and this is probably the hardest thing to get used to Is that you are not supposed to look at the keyboard while you're typing it takes some practice But touch typing is all about muscle memory. So good luck when Steph first told me about touch typing I was like bring it on so after the clinic I spent an hour and a half learning how to touch type and then the next day three hours and then the day after that two hours But on the fourth day I was like Man, this is boring. And my speed wasn't improving at all. So I just quit. My second attempt was a few months ago. And let me tell you the secret to succeeding here. Although you might've already sussed that out. I want you to practice for only 10 minutes and be really strict about it. So even if you're doing really well after 10 minutes, stop. Before the start of your clinic, put a timer on 10 minutes, but do this every single workday. So that's excluding weekends, unless you are working weekends, but why would you go into GP to do weekends? The second difficulty I encountered, and this is slightly embarrassing, but as I was doing my 10 minute sessions, and it wasn't going really well, I was like, am I too old to learn how to touch type? I know now that it was simple self-doubt. Just like when I was learning how to play guitar age 16, I actually thought then that I was too old to start learning. So brush it off aside, you're not too old, and just get on with it. There are a lot of resources out there to learn how to touch type, but I use Typing Club. The basic membership is free and I can't see any restrictions going through the course itself, but they do put ads up on the side, which doesn't really bother me. Typing Club is aesthetically pleasing and the videos and lessons are actually really fun. They also have a cool stats section here. So as you can see, let's scroll down. I started off at 18 words per minute and my last session was up to 61 words per minute, which is pretty good, but I generally hover around 40 to 50 now. And it says here I've been practicing for seven hours. This is actually really funny as well. Finger mastery. They will tell you which fingers are your strongest and which fingers are your weakest. So as you can see from here, my right ring finger is the strongest and my weakest is my right pinky. Poor little pinky. Finally, I promised you a bonus at the end. Let's reveal the winners of the 100 subscription contest that we had going. And your names are on the screen now. Congratulations. Send me an email and I will send you a personalized link to your own free copy of GP on the Move. Right, that's it guys. I hope that was informative. If you did find that useful, give me a thumbs up and like this video and you can also leave a comment below. If you'd like to see more videos like these, please subscribe and you can also email me directly. Otherwise, good luck.